Tell me a little bit about what you know the travel was like getting into getting into Oslo and uh, how you felt competing today. Yeah, no, travel was amazing. I went, you know, to Gainesville and Atlanta right over here, so it was, wasn't too bad. Uh, the, the, the atmosphere out here is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a house out here because it's, it's absolutely great. It doesn't get too dark. It's great weather. Yeah. So yeah, the atmosphere was absolutely amazing. Um, you know, as as far as my competition went, I can't be too mad. Um, I took about five, six weeks off because I, I I got PRP in, in, in my Achilles and my knee. Uh, just just a, nothing really really wrong about when I kind of made sure that I was absolutely fine for, for a world championship. So I'm a little rusty. Um, couldn't really find myself with the board. You know, so just trying to just trying to you know get myself back feet wet. I, yeah. My my last competition was in Botswana. Mm -hmm. So to be still close to that opener, I can't be too mad. I did lose, but I didn't really lose. So I, I'll, no. I'll, I'll I'll take that. I I'll mean, so you got second place. You put it together. Yeah, you know, you yeah, got so your job. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's bittersweet, but I know that my time is gonna come up because again, this is a really good opener as far as reopening myself back up out of that uh, procedure. One thing about you, you love to be a part of the competition. Yeah. I always see you like cheering on other guys, Got like to. getting claps going, um, involved with the crowd. As far as the long jump, I mean, you know, I've, I've always been the kind of guy that like just like knows that whenever the crowd's involved, no matter who, no matter what, I get motivated, I get hyped. So you know, what I'm saying? I I got extra energy to, uh, to spare, so I will give it to the crowd. The crowd gets back to us. Lonzo doesn't always get put on TV in the first place, so if I'm getting the crowd involved and getting this to me, yeah. that means it's, it's attention on long jump. So I mean, I appreciate that, and, and I'll give it to my uh, competitors every single time. I know you got a great team out in Gainesville. Uh, what's Coach Peterson gonna say about this performance? Um, he's probably gonna give me like a B minus. <laughs> um, I, it was a couple jumps that I could have executed better early, but as far as my first jump, I took care of business. So, you know, he'll probably give me B minus, B plus, uh, but, but it's definitely back in the lab. We got USA's in about two and a half weeks. Uh, you know, so maybe we can go there and, and then take care of business for sure. <laughs> and in terms of like, you know, that time between now and then, mm -hmm. like what is it gonna take for you to, you know, get back on top to, you know, where I you wanna I be just, in? I just like have more rep. Like I said, I mean, they, I, I haven't seen a runway since, uh, like maybe like two days ago when I got here. So I've been yeah. doing like a lot of ultra G, um, you know, just kind of tempo running and I haven't really done a lot of jumps, so, so to speak. So that's where I kind of like, you know, I jump myself into shape. So this meet was a necessary evil. So like no, no matter how I would have performed, I needed this competition vibe to kind of get myself back back together. So I was hoping for definitely more than 820, but, yeah. but for the win. So I can't be too mad at it. But again, this is just like, like, like a necessary transitional part. Like I said, USA is more championship than dominant final for the main things. And I got points. I got second, and it's you know, over 820. I can't be too mad. No, I be. mean, he came to a good good show. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Also, is uh, definitely putting it on for you. So. Yes, sir. All right, appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you. Sure, bro.